Hello guys, I'm Karen Caballero. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the most popular talked about fall shades for lips. And I'm also going to be showing you a couple other ones that are not necessarily very hype, but they are my favorite. And I love lip products and I have a lot. Like the ones I'm going to show you, it's seven of them. Two of them are not drugstore and the other ones are. But just to show you real quick, look, I have a lot, a lot of lip products. So we're going to start off with my personal favorites, okay? Okay. I'm going to be swatching it on my lips and on my hands so you can compare them side to side. And for skin reference, I'm... I'm an NC30 or NC35 on my foundation depending on time of year just so that you can see because what how it looks on me it looks different on everybody depending on your skin tone so that's why I leave my shade reference. I'll probably also leave like another drugstore foundation shade just in case you don't have the MAC ones. This is Velvet Teddy by MAC. It is a matte shade and this is a cold favorite shade. All year long is very wearable. It's a very like everyday uh, shade. But it still looks so beautiful for fall because it is like that brown nude with the hint of mauve. When it comes to fall shades, MAC has a lot of popular shades. But this is one of the most popular shades that I saw. And it is one of my favorite like top three from this bunch. This is the Laura Brilliant Signature Shiny Lip Ink in the shade Be Outstanding. And I didn't hear too much about this one. But it is one of my most used lipsticks because the formula, it is so freaking different than anything you see out there. It goes on shiny, but somehow, some way, it lasts a long, long time. And it is not uncomfortable like those liquid lipsticks. That's why I love it. And it is dark and like a bold lip. Definitely fall appropriate, but not too, too dark. You know, I don't like it when it gets too dark. And like I said, oh my gosh. I, I just get so freaking excited. It's quite new to me, but I'm enjoying it so much so far. This is the next Powder Puff Lippy in the shade Cool Intentions. Now, this shade right here wasn't super hyped, but oh my gosh, it is one of my most favorite lipsticks for fall. Now, this color right here, I love it because it is dark enough to be fall buys, but not too dark brown because I don't like those colors. Also, you got to be careful with brown because brown can age you if it is too brown. And this one doesn't do that because it has like a slight hint of mauve. So I think it helps, you know, prevent that. It is my daughter's holy grail lip product at the moment. She's obsessed with this. After this video, I'm going to let her have it because that's how much she loves it. You might hear my baby in the background because he woke up already. So I might be speaking loud at times. This is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Glove Trotter. Now this shade right here, it's super hype and the formula... Oh my gosh, it is one of the most like top selling formulas ever in all the lip shades. But this is one of the most hype for <laughs> fall. Now me personally, I tend not to like liquid lipsticks. So it is now one of my favorite. However, I still enjoy it so far because among all the liquid lipsticks that I do own, this is one of the most comfortable and one of the nicest ones. And the shade, it is extremely different. You know, it definitely screams uh, fall. And among all the lip colors that I have in my collection, this is very, very different. So that's why I'm still trying it out and loving it so far. This is the Maybelline Touch of Spice 660 lipstick. And oh my gosh, this lipstick, it was sold out everywhere. Either they didn't carry it or it was sold out. I went to different stores. I even had my husband go to one store. Finally, I found it, and when I found it, there was only two left at Walgreens. So, you know, people, what they say is that this is just like a cult favorite color when it comes to fall. It's like an iconic fall color. They describe it. Me, personally, I'm not sure about it. Yes, it is beautiful, but I'm not sure that it's one of my favorites. I don't know. I'm still going to have it out for fall, and hopefully I wear it more. It's definitely like a bold dark color but not looking like very harsh and it is definitely mauve this is the maybelline nude nuance 657 and i love this lipstick so far first of all maybelline's formulas are super amazing all over and this color right here is super popular for fall it is out like true brown color but i tend not to like colors that are too dark or too brown however there's something about this one that i am obsessed with and it is quite comparable to a next shade that I'm going to show you and the next one and the last shade it is not drugstore but this one is so keep that in mind when you look at it this is a MAC lipstick in the shade Whirl it is a MAC formula and it is definitely one of the most hyped colors for fall probably because it's brown and dark 
And I was gonna say it's not one of my most used ones, but I'm definitely wrong because as you can see, the tube is almost gone. <laughs> I definitely use it a lot. And I would say it's very comparable to the previous Maybelline lipstick that I just showed you. The only difference is that this one is a little bit more on the cooler side than the other one. This one right here also has like a hint of mobbiness to it. That is it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at 11 Karen Caballero. Let me know what was your favorite lip shade out of this one's. 